Hmm. Now, Qatar Airways is one of the best airlines out there. I would recommend them any day to anybody, no matter where you're flying from. But I have this tiny little complaint in my soul that I just can't seem to shake off. And it involves a tape measure and 65 US dollars. I'll be back shortly after this entry video. This is probably something that you might want to know about too. Yeah, I'll be right back. <sighs> right, so here's the thing. On the 24th of this month, I was supposed to take a flight from Ahmedabad in India all the way to Bujumbura in Burundi, where I currently am right now. Now, here's the thing. I, in one of my checked in luggages or baggage, I had a bicycle that I meant to uh, take with me from India. And now there is a whole series of instructions that you are supposed to follow from the Qatar website with regards to transporting a bicycle as something that is uh, among your luggages. Now, I read all the instructions. I did everything that was required of me, but still, I ended up paying 65 US dollars for something that they called um, oversized baggage. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, forgive the shaky footage, but there is something that I want you to see really quick, and I can only show it to you via, uh, through my laptop. Now, there's going to be two parts to this video. Part number one is where I show what the Qatar Airways website says about packaging the bicycle. And the second part would be where I demonstrate to you what is and what's not possible with regards to what the website says or rather doesn't say. Now, let me show you something really quick. Okay. Now, here is what I wanted to quickly show you on my computer. Let's search the phrase Qatar Airways. Yep, I had already searched it before. Let's click um, special baggage items. Forgive the internet speed. Okay, here we go. Straight to the page that um, says something about special baggage items. To be specific, we are concerned with sporting equipment. Okay. So what does Qatar say about sporting equipment in general? Um, Qatar Airways accepts any sporting equipment as checked baggage as part of the free checked baggage allowance mentioned on your ticket. Okay. Um, any sporting equipment that exceeds the free allowance will be subject to excess baggage rates. Okay. Now, is there any free allowance mentioned anywhere? So far, no. But okay, when purchased in advance, special sports equipment rates apply, okay? When purchased at the airport, regular excess baggage rates apply. Okay, let's uh, skip over to what concerns us here. Bicycles may be carried as check baggage or cargo. Please ensure that they are properly packed in a strong custom-made cardboard box. Tires should be deflated, pedals removed, and handlebars turned and fixed lengthways okay um let's scroll down okay there seems to be a drop down menu here cool what does it say um customers traveling with a bicycle should consider the below packaging options and guidelines a strong custom-made cardboard box or bike case qatar airways advises customers to use foam tubes around the bike parts to ensure Better protection of the parts if the bike is, is packed in a box. Note, um, tires must be deflated, pedals... Okay, they're just basically repeating what was said previously here. So far, I want you to notice that um, nothing has been mentioned about the weight or the dimensions that are needed for this particular uh, packaging guidelines. Now, to be fair... Once you are done booking and you get your ticket, it mentions, it is clearly mentioned on the ticket that uh, you are allowed one piece as cabin, as carry-on 
baggage or luggage and two pieces in check in baggage two pieces of not more than 23 kilograms each that can be expanded to 32 kilos but you know you're gonna have to pay for the extra nine kilos okay cool and in the ticket it mentions okay not the ticket really but somewhere else in this menu just give me a second let me find the page okay now for the life of me i cannot find the original page that i wanted to show but luckily i took a screenshot now feel free to um rewrite this whole link up here on your browser but i didn't want to but anyway this is the this is an official qatar website link and at the time it said here something that i found interesting was maximum dimensions dimensions for each piece of check baggage is calculated as length plus width and height basically if you add the l w and h together for the maximum dimensions of bags for journeys involving trans transatlantic flights traveling to or from the us canada brazil and argentina is 158 centimeters maximum dimensions of bags now is that maximum before paying or maximum after paying it doesn't say it here and the other sent the other sentence says that uh the maximum dimensions of bags for journeys involving all other destinations well now what we are concerned with is africa to and from africa is 300 centimeters otherwise um 118 inches okay still it does not say if that is before or after paying is this part of the free baggage allowance uh, allowance dimensions or the maximum allowed after payment has been made let's move on to the next line the maximum dimensions for each piece of hand baggage okay that this one here does not concern us please check the link below for the standard checked baggage allowance and dimensions okay let's look it up okay now that we have opened the link here is what we find the under checked baggage guidelines for these are the standards okay for routes where the weight concept apply there is no limit on the number of pieces that can be checked in as long as the weight allowance for the total number of pieces is not exceeded okay however limitations may apply based on aircraft carrying capacity okay baggage allowance may vary depending on the flight and booking class okay you can find the number of pieces and weight allowed for your journey when you select your flight on qatarairways.com as well as on your ticket prior to travel okay baggage guidelines one the maximum dimensions the length the width and the height should not exceed 158 centimeters basically if you total the length width and height the maximum of the sum should be 158 centimeters huh okay does this include sporting equipment which is named special baggage allowance i don't know but we'll find that out later the maximum weight should be 32 kilos this is mentioned in the ticket and i don't know if you know anything about bikes but uh typically on average a bike weighs about um 15 kilos 14 to 15 kilos maximum if you are to include the regular packaging the uh the weight will total up to around 19 kilos maximum you cannot exceed 20 kilos if you're dealing with uh alloy frames and carbon frames tend to be even you know lighter than that but anyway okay let's move on okay now let's just do a quick google search um let me think of a phrase really quick um uh typical dimensions for bicycle packaging okay let's see what we have forgive my internet it's a bit slow but let's see how big is a bike box okay according to this website most uh most bike boxes are 43 by 11 by 32 but others can be bigger such as 53 by 29 by 9 or 54 by 28 by 8 okay um 
do they have any pictures? Are these these are inches, right? I think. Yeah, this is a, these are most likely inches. There is no way these could be centimeters. It's inches. Mm -hmm. Now, if I was to do a quick conversion, let's see. What is 43 inches in two centimeters? 43, 11, 32. Hold on, let's make a quick Google search. Just uh, give it a second. Uh, inches, two centimeters. Right, okay. Um, okay, 43 inches is equals to 109 centimeters. <laughs> yeah, now we are basically left with, um, just let's just say we're left with 50 centimeters in order to fill up the 158 centimeters required by Qatar. Right, the next uh, dimension would be 11 and 32. That's 109 plus 11, that's 27. We get around uh, 109 plus 27 is 135, 136. Um, 136 plus 32 is 81. 36 plus uh, 81, we get roughly about 117. So that's 217. This is for most bikes. Most bikes fit within the 217 centimeter total dimensions box. Qatar Airways, there is no way possible that anybody could fit a bike in a packaging that is 158 centimeters total. No way. Okay, I don't know, but let's see. Do any other sources say something different? 54 by 8 by 29. That is still way beyond 158 that's required. There's no way an adult bike can fit into the required dimensions that Qatar wants or needs. But yet they still say that we are allowed to carry a bike as special baggage allowance. It's just, it's not possible. Now here's the thing, you've read what the uh, website had to say, you've read the instructions that they gave and the dimensions that they uh, consider to be uh, allowed, allowed dimensions. Now here's where things begin to get a little interesting. Just let me demonstrate that for a second. Let me show you how interesting it gets. Okay, now let's do a little measuring to see if a typical bicycle dimensions can fit into the Qatar's specified dimensions. Now let's just, let's do a quick length, height, width check of a bike and see how close we are to fitting to the uh, dimensions mentioned by Qatar. That's 173 centimeters length of the bike. We are um, about 20, we are easily 20 centimeters in excess of what Qatar suggests we should have as total dimensions. Okay, let's check out the height. That's 117 centimeters height. So 117 plus 173 gives us roughly about 290 something. <laughs> okay. Okay, if I was to just do quick maths, if I add the length and the height that I got from measuring the bicycle alone, minus the, uh, the width, which we haven't done, I have roughly about 290 centimeters total dimensions as far as L and W is concerned. Now, L and H, we haven't found W yet. And we cannot do that because there's no way of measuring the width of the bike. So what I'm going to do is, is I already have a cardboard, a cardboard box, typical cardboard box that's used to store one of these things. Now let's see what the dimensions of the cardboard box total up to. Just give me a second. Let me do the setup. That's 147 centimeters length. Let's check out the height. That's 78. So we have uh, 78 plus 147, right? Now let's do the width. That's 21. 
Um, so there you go guys, you've seen it. There is no way that you could possibly fit, fit an adult bike in a box. And even with the wheel off, there's no way possible that you can get that to fit in a cardboard box that should measure 158 if you take the sum of the length, width, and height. It's just not possible. So, I don't know. I paid $65 for, uh, for overweight and $65 for oversize. And my guess is everybody else is going to end up paying $65 in oversize, even though the website in Qatar claims that you are allowed to have a bicycle as special baggage allowance. But then again, they go ahead to charge you for oversize for something that you cannot control, really. Nobody can. So, yeah, change the policy or make it so people are allowed to carry bikes as long as they do not exceed the overall weight, which is 23, and nobody will, really. But as far as the dimensions are concerned, that's something that you guys are going to have to update. And to those of you that will fly and not have to pay for oversize, kudos to y'all. As far as I'm concerned, I lost $65 and well, yeah, that's a lot of money in my currency. It's about 130 grand in my currency. Fonbu. You guys are uh, sharing like this video. Hopefully Qatar Airways gets to see it and they do something about it. And well, it'll be nice and good for anybody that travels in the future and does not get disturbed at the airport while checking in. I had to miss the first flight because I didn't have that extra $65 for oversize and I really wasn't expected to pay it, but then, you know, the airport staff at uh, Ahmedabad uh, Airport really were really stuck on this uh, policy that they really thought that they were right on. I can't really blame them for that. I tried explaining, but they wouldn't have it, and so I had to miss the flight and then reschedule for the next day, which was, yeah, a lot of hassle. Lost a lot of money, spent money that I wasn't really intending to spend. So yeah, that's it guys. This is not so brand in here. I will see y'all in the next video. I'm out.